Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about a very important structure of the eukaryotic cells, which is the nucleus. So let's see what is nucleus. Nucleus is very importantly known as the director of the cell. Why? Because nucleus is the place where every decision for the cell is being made. So what a cell is going to perform, what are the activities it is going to perform, all the controls of the cell, everything is decided inside this nucleus or by this nucleus. Hence, this is known as the director of the cell. It directs what the cell is going to perform. So it controls all the cellular function a cell is going to perform. Nucleus, it is present in eukaryotic cells and we know nucleus is not present, a membrane bound nucleus is not present in prokaryotic cells. It is absolutely present in case of the eukaryotic cells, but there are some exceptions. For example, mature RV, RBCs or red blood cells, sieve tubes of the phloem, tracheids and the vessels of the xylem. So these are the cells which have, does not have proper nucleus. Nucleus was first described by scientists known as Robert Brown in 1831. Later on, Fleming, this scientist, he gave the name chromatin. So chromatin, this name was given to the contents which is present inside a nucleus. No, so let us see what are the different structures of a typical nucleus. So the first structure we are going to talk about is the nuclear membrane. This is a very important structure. Nuclear membrane is also known as nuclear envelope or nucleolemma. So this nuclear envelope, this is, it actually controls the nucleocytoplasmic interactions. So what do we mean by this? The interactions which is going to happen between the nucleus and the cytoplasm. So nucleocytoplasmic interactions is controlled by the nuclear membrane and also controls the exchange of materials that is going to happen between the cytoplasm and the nucleus. So this is controlled by the nuclear membrane. It consists of two parallel membranes. So let's look at this picture. So you can see there are two membranes, the inner membrane and the outer membrane. So these membranes, they run parallel to each other and the space inside between these two membranes, this is known as the perinuclear space. Now this perinuclear space, it forms a barrier between the nucleus and the cytoplasm. This actually uh, decides on how or what type of materials is going to be exchanged between the nucleus and the cytoplasm. The outer membrane of these uh, two double layered membranes, they remain in continuous with the endoplasmic reticulum. So it is remaining in association with the endoplasmic reticulum and which endoplasmic reticulum that is RER, rough endoplasmic reticulum, which has got the presence of ribosomes in it, right? Importantly, this nuclear membrane, they have got pores, as you can see, nuclear pore complex and this is also a pore. So they have got pores. So what is the function of the presence of these type of pores in the nuclear membrane? Pores actually help in the movement of RNA and the proteins that is formed or synthesized in the nucleus. So this RNA which is formed inside the nucleus, this is transported from the membrane, from the nucleus to the cytoplasm via these pores. The next structure is known as the nucleoplasm. So what is nucleoplasm? Nucleoplasm is the transparent semi-fluid colloidal ground substance. So the pink colored substance we are seeing over here, this is basically the nucleoplasm or it's like the cytoplasm. It is present inside the nuclear nucleus that is the nucleoplasm. So it is the transparent semi-fluid colloidal matrix that is present inside the nucleus. This is present inside the nuclear membrane, right? So it is present inside the nuclear membrane, inside the double membrane bound structures. It actually acts as a nuclear skeleton and helps in maintaining the shape of the nucleus. So the shape of the nucleus is being maintained by the presence of this colloidal nucleoplasm. It contains nucleolus and the chromatin. So here you can see it contains the nucleolus and the chromatin network. The next structure which is very important is the nucleolus. Nucleolus, this is a spherical structure which is present inside the nucleoplasm. So as you can see over here, this is the nucleus. It is a spherical structure. It is associated with NOR, that is nuclear organizing regions of the nuclear chromosomes. These are non-membrane bound structures. They are the specific sites for the synthesis of ribosomal RNA, that is rRNA synthesis takes place inside this nucleolus. The nucleolus number and the size of the nucleolus is more, uh, more or larger in case of the cells which are actively protein synthesizing cells. So the cells which actively synthesizes proteins, 
here the nucleolus number as well as its size is much bigger so in this video we have talked about a very important structure or the director of the cell which is known as the nucleus we have also talked about some of the structural detail of this nucleus i hope you have understood and like this video thank you